Andrew Hartson, the chairman of the South African Selection Committee, gave an exclusive interview to Extra Time. South Africa have an enviable 3-0 record against India in World Cups, winning against the men in blue in the 1992-1999 and 2011 editions of the ICC tournament. It was Peter Carsten and Andrew Hartson who took the game away from the Indians in 1992. So let's watch what Hartson is saying. Oh, it was fabulous, you know. I think we hadn't... Um it was a nice entry into world cricket because we suddenly got to play against all the teams, you know, in one in one tournament, um, which was here in Australia and, and New Zealand. So um, we played India in um, in limited over series in India. So that was our introduction yes. back into world cricket, and then um, and that was in the November of '91, yes. and then came to the World Cup in uh, in February '92. Uh, so. Um, yeah, I played India in Adelaide. I think we had to we had to win that game to get into the semi-finals, um, which we did. Um, I think if India had won it, I don't think they would have been able to qualify. So, but it was great, you know. Always great playing against guys like Kapil Dev. It's and a meet now that 1992 World Cup. You were one of the best teams, and unfortunately for that uh, unfortunate rain rule. <laughs> That 100%. You know, one ball, 22 runs. Still, we all remember that particular match. Yeah. What actually was going through the players' mind? Because it was really, really shocking to have lost a match like that and that position. One ball, 22 runs. Yeah, I mean, just a, it was a, a, a cricket rule, you know, that if it rains, you just lose, you lose overs, you know, you lose balls, and the, the total didn't change. So there was no duck with Lewis in those days. Mm -hmm. And um, Sydney has lots of showers mm -hmm. that time of the year in, in February, March. So. Yeah, I'm disappointed, but I guess that's the rule, you know, and um, what can you do? And you just take us through that match, the World Cup match in 1992, obviously. You had a great win against India, and you just spoke that you, you had to win the match against India in order to go through to the semi final stop. But take us through that match. Yeah, um, I, I can't remember exactly the details, you know, um, in terms of the amounts of runs, but I know that India, India batted first, and um, I think we needed about 240, I think, to win. And uh, we had we started off. It was a reduced game. I think it was a, a 30 over game. I think and um, yeah, we just it was a it was a wonderful experience to be able to go and chase down um, and get the runs. So um, we needed to win. It was a do or die for us, and uh, it was great to then get into the semi-finals and play England. And you had a decent record against India going into the World Cup because you had a 3-0 because 92, 99, and 2011. All the three times that you met India, you had you had the upper hand. So. Talk about South Africa's domination as far as meeting Indian World Cup is concerned. Oh no, I mean we just take every game as it comes. You know, I don't like to talk about dominations and that. I mean every game, every game's a new game. So, um, so we've we've enjoyed playing India in the past, and um, no doubt we'll enjoy playing them in the I future. Want, uh, talking about skill, 92 World Cup and 2015, 23 years have gone by. Do you think cricket has changed in terms of skill? Oh yeah, 100 percent. It's become more of a batter's game. More of a batter's game. Batter's game, big. Big bets. Um, and this new rule, do you think that this will affect this World Cup? It's only four fielders outside the cycle all the time, and you'll have a batting power play of five five overs. Do you think it's uh, really, really would be hard on bowlers to? Change? Yeah, I think it's hard on bowlers anyway. You know, I think it's um, batters are batters are getting so good in these days, and I think um, better improvement, but bowlers have improved dramatically, you know, as well over the last couple of years. So I think the game's moved forward. Fielding is incredible. You know, we've seen some awesome fielding. So, I think it's been good for the game. It's and it's gone forward from my day most definitely. Do you think any danger in terms of uh, after Big Bash and IPL and South African, you know, 2020? Do you think there is there any danger for one-day cricket in general? No, I don't think so. I mean, I think there's uh, there's a great uh, following. You know, in terms of one-day cricket, I think it's got a lot to offer. Um, I think T20 is great. It's it's charged and it's pumped. You know, there's lots of action, but. I think um, there's a, a little bit more tactic, you know, in the in the 50 over game, and I think it's nice to see that. And to talking us about 92, obviously India had a long series in Australia. They had they did miserably, and going into the World Cup, similar situation this time round. Obviously, Mahendra Singh Dhoni and his team hadn't had a success, but win against Pakistan. Do you think that 92 and 2015 similar situations for the Indian team? No, I mean I, I don't like to be drawn into how other teams are going to play. You know, I mean I'm happy to chat about South Africa, but um, yeah, I mean I think every team that you play here in the World Cup is uh, is competitive. You know, and I think you can't ever take people for granted. Um, often history and uh, what happened before sometimes is irrelevant. You know, it's 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 on the day. It's how teams play on the day, and um, and as we see, some of the minnows or some of the uh, non-test playing nations are winning games. You know, so. 
Um, I think to speculate about the past and um, to look at percentages and who won what, I think it all boils down to who's, who plays better on the day.